everyone, my name's Ariel and I'm from Camp Quality and I'm super excited to be introducing our special guest today, it's Dr. Matt! Hi Ariel, nice to meet you. Oh, likewise. Hey, um, Dr. Matt, what kind of doctor are you? Well, I'm a paediatric oncologist. Oh, that's a big word. Hey, what kind of doctor is a paediatric oncologist? Well, I'm really lucky. I get to look after children and other young people who've been diagnosed with cancer. Oh, cancer. Um, well, what is cancer? Well, that's a really good question. Cancer is a serious illness that can affect children very rarely. And it, what it is is when there's growth of cells and other tissue in the body that's not meant to be there. And sometimes there's lots of different types of cancer, so it depends on what it is. But often it can be in the blood, and if it's like that, people think of it kind of like a weed in a garden. It's not meant to be there and it's growing and not letting the normal flowers come through. Oh. So it's our job to give some treatment to get rid of those weeds and allow the flowers to grow. Oh, okay, well, I mean, can you catch cancer? No, which is good to know. So it's not like a cough, cold or runny nose. You're not going to catch cancer by hanging around someone who's got cancer. Mm. So if you know someone who has cancer, mm. be that a child or an adult, you can still see them and play with them and talk to them and hug them. Sometimes if people have cancer though, they don't want to catch any bugs. So you better make sure that you're well. Oh, okay. Well, um, how do you get cancer then? That's a really good question too. You're full of good questions. Oh, thanks Dr. Matt. Cancer happens often for reasons that we don't quite understand. It's not because of something someone's done or not done, something they've been exposed to or being naughty or a bump on their head. Most of the time it's just a change that happens in their body that's no one's fault. What does cancer look like then? Well it depends on where it is really. Cancer can be in lots of different spots. It can be in the brain and if it's like that it looks like a lump or a bump that you might see on a scan that we do. Sometimes you might have a lump in your belly or in your chest or it might be some funny looking cells when we look at your blood down the microscope. Okay, here's a curly question. How do you know if you've got cancer? Well, it depends. It really depends on what type of cancer it is. Sometimes people get really tired or they start getting bruising. Sometimes people notice a lump or a bump. So if you're worried about anything, it's really important. Just have a chat to your mum or dad or carer and they can take it from there. Oh, wow. Dr. Matt, you seem really good at your job. Hey, what's the best bit about what you do? Well, other than coming to talk to puppets like you, Ariel, Aww. I love being able to look after the kids that I do. I get to know them really well and their families, and I force feed them photos of my dog, which is my other favourite thing to talk about. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's great, Dr. Matt. Hey, um, thank you so much for spending time with us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure for me. Thank you for the invite. Oh, absolutely. Well, this is goodbye from us at Camp Quality. Bye. Bye. Ha 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 ha!